They survived a harrowing ordeal in Vietnam. Now four American soldiers are together again for the first time. KCAL Online Inland Empire reporter Tom Waite shows us why, for these men, the war never really ended. I didn't even know if these guys were alive. For 44 years, Mike Good has seen their faces in his dreams, wondered if they survived. Two of them saved my life. Good is talking about his four-member recon unit. In 1969, Good was with them in Vietnam gathering enemy intel in the jungle. The recon unit realized the area was booby-trapped, but it was too late. Good set off a mine which tore apart his leg. I heard this big blast, but I mean the blast is not sharp. And a big black cloud, and I thought I fell in a hole. By some miracle, his brothers in arms would save him, but Good would never see them again after his rescue from the jungle. Today, that changed. After almost five decades, an online message board would link the four together. At Ontario Airport this afternoon, the brave men from the 173rd Airborne would reunite for the first time. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Through tears and laughter, this was their moment. I'm taller than you are now. You used to be taller than me. What happened? Michael Good, Howard Hunt, Grady Fox, and Bob Bodeman whole again. But it's a long time coming, isn't it? Did you think you would see him again? No. No. Neither one. No. No, I thought I thought uh, Dutch was dead. Because last time I seen him, you know. He was bleeding out. Yeah, he was bleeding out. The four have been fighting the physical and emotional consequences of war. Today's reunion is another step forward in the healing process. <laughs> For Mike Good, who is fighting illness, this is a chapter he needed to close. It was four men that I trusted with my life. I feel relief. My life is complete. So if it ends today, I had a beautiful life. In Ontario, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News. Great to see them together. Mm -hmm. Up next, we'll take